prime number what is prime number you know already prime number is nothing but uh, which contains multiples as one and itself that's it okay that is prime number but what are the factors of prime number itself one and itself those are the factors but what are the prime factors of whole number which is a whole number that is even or odd that is different but which contains prime factors those are called prime numbers of whole number prime factors of whole number so see here prime number prime number is nothing but which contains multiples as one and itself that's it one and itself that is prime number one and itself is called prime factors of a prime number see here for example example take 5 it is a prime number or prime digit what are the factors of this factors of 5 1 and 5 1 and itself those are factors of 5 only 2 so which is a whole number yes which is a whole number but what are the factors of 5 1 and 5 prime factors of 5 1 and 5 that is also also prime factors of 5 or 1 and 5 that's it that means 5 uh, is nothing but 1 into 5 therefore 5 equals 1 into 5 this is called uh, prime factorization for a whole number if i also whole number is yes not but we want to find the prime factors of uh, some other number for example take some hundred how to find the prime factors in factors in the third 250 225 55 that means 100 equals to 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 that means 2 square 5 square this is these are the factors of 100 this is called uh, factorization of prime numbers this process is called uh, factorization of prime numbers that's it that is simple factorization factors ization factor ization factorization means uh, we are multiplying the factors one by one for a whole number that is called uh, prime factorization of a whole number that's it prime factorization of a whole number index form this is index form 2 square into 5 square what is index form Next one is nothing but we can show in the tree format. So, for example, take this is this hundred in the tree format. Suppose hundred in the index form. Take hundred. Now, hundred is divided by two. Two gets fifty. Yes. Again, fifty can divided by two gets twenty-five. Again, twenty-five can divided by five gets five. That's it. Okay. Now, hundred equals to two into two into five into five. That means two square into five square. This is called index form of hundred. So you can show, you can do the calculation different methods in the index form or as well as in the division form. Both are same, but what is the simplest method 
From which method you can save the time? That method you want to select in the examination, in the computer jobs. Yes or not? So this is the same example of the next one. Main important point is already know prime number definition. But what is the list to prime number? One, zero, two. What are they? What is the list prime number? List prime number. Very very important. Actually, we will have the numbers from zero, one, two, etc. Zero, one, two. Okay. Zero is even or odd. Zero is even. How it comes out in future classes? One is odd. Two is even. You know. Again, three is odd. Means even or even odd. Alternate numbers. Those comes in odd, even and odd. Okay, good. But when you are recalling, zero is even, one is odd, two is even, three is odd. Means when you divide the any number with even number, comes to zero. Remainder is zero. Those are those called as even numbers. Whenever you can divide by even number, you can comes to remainder as one. Those numbers are called as odd numbers. Okay, but here least prime number is two. Why? Because two one into two two are multiples. Two are the factors. One and two are factors. Those are prime numbers. Prime factors for the whole number. But what is zero? Zero into one. Zero into one means what? Zero is a factor? No. Zero into one, zero. So this is not prime number or prime digit. Also, one equals to one into one itself, but not other factor. What is the condition? One and itself. Yes, one and itself, but both are same here. That is why this is this is not prime number. Or prime digit. Actually, zero and one are called prime digits, not prime numbers. Please remember it. Zero to nine are digits. You know that. Okay. So, so <coughs> zero and one are not prime digits. Generally, you can call it as prime numbers, general term. But perfectly, you can call it as digits. So. Zero and one are not prime digits. Why? Because zero into one equals zero. Zero itself, but there is no other factor is there. That is why zero is not a prime factor, prime number, prime digit. Or one is also not prime number or prime digit. Why? Because one in itself means uh, both are same, but not other than one. Is a factor of one. One is only one in factor, but not other than one. That is why this is not a Prime digit. Also, here one in itself means one and two. Two are factors. Two factors are there for two. That is why this is two is prime digit. Actually, all the people, some of the some of people can call it as two is a prime number. Not that is not good. Two is prime digit. Up to nine, we can call it as a digits, not numbers. That is not mathematical way. To call it as a number, but we can call it as a digit. That is good. Okay. So two is prime digit. What is even prime digit? Least two. even prime digit equals to two. That is one and only prime number. <coughs> even prime number. Generally called as digit. So one and only. Even prime digit is two. Please remember this. Only two, except two. Remain all are composite. From four, least even composite is four. Okay. So two is only least prime even digit. This is very 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 important. Okay. So some computer jumps can guess this question. What is the least even prime digit or prime number? 
okay that is 2 the question find the smallest whole number that has five different uh, prime factors simple actually we don't want to find the first of all what is the whole number but we want to find the least prime numbers from starting least prime numbers least prime numbers from starting what is the least prime number you know 2 that is least even 2 3 5 7 8 9 10 are not uh, prime numbers those are uh, different composite okay leave it now 11 these are the first five prime numbers these are the digit this is a number okay generally we can call it as a prime numbers okay what is the product product 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11. That's it. What is the product? 6, 30, 20, 2, 10. 2, 10 into 11. How much? 11. 11. 11 to 22. 22. That's it. This is the least whole number which has 5 different, 5 different prime factors okay so in this you can find the for five or four or six different prime factors product of uh, suppose if you want four different uh, prime factors two three five seven that's it up to two ten but we want five eleven or want six into thirteen so we want six what is the least whole number which has six different prime factors means uh, into 30 like that okay so this is the product of uh, five different prime factors that is whole number as 2310 that's it okay so in this way you can find it any different types of products okay guys these are simple introduction about uh, prime numbers these are very important in computer exams as well as in general exams like in school or colleges. Okay? Guys, okay. thanks for watching. For more updates, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.